Escape extinction. This is a challenging thing to extinguish because it's behavior that's maintained by escape. So how do you extinguish it? Do you have any ideas? Imagine. Just think with that. You can, you can get back to me in a second. So imagine a kid in the classroom that always get the, throws the pencil or whatever, and then they, you know, the teacher, oh, you go sit in the corner and, nah, and quit doing that nasty stuff, right? So the kiddo might be have their behavior, their throwing pencil behavior, whatever it is, maintained by extinction. Or maybe, sorry, geez, maintained by escape, right? So then how do you, how do you extinguish that? Basically, you get the kid to not escape. So yeah, throw the pencil. But now you can't escape your task, whatever it is. So maybe the task was do your math. The kid throw the. I've had enough of you, teacher. Throws the pencil, right? Um, oh, thank you for the pencil. Now do your math. Throws the pencil again. Now thank you for that. Do the math, and you keep working at that. You can't let them get out of that math. The moment you let them get out of that math, if the behavior is maintained by escape, then you, you, <laughs> you the behavior is going to maintain. They're going to continue to do it. But if you want to extinguish that, then you have to prevent that reinforcer from being delivered. Escape maintained behaviors are very difficult to extinguish. It's challenging, but you can do it. Be patient and be creative.